you mentioned Steve McQueen earlier, uh, my, the, the best man at my parents' wedding. They got married in his house. They had actually met in Steve McQueen's house. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Um, they had actually met, I think, and I'll probably hack this story up a little bit, but they met at a gas station in like the desert, um, somewhere in Nevada or something. And they were both gassing up, uh, or I think, I think Steve McQueen was working on sand pebbles was shooting sand pebbles. So where, wherever they shot that and they just started shooting the shit about cars. Mm. Right. And I don't remember what my dad was driving, but there was something where they just sort of immediately connected. And, um, I think they both had a very, um, sort of adventurous and somewhat rebellious spirit. Um, but it was cars that they connected on. The rebellious spirit that carried down to you because <laughs> you started taking the track on a regular basis. And in college, you started racing. You were about 24, 25 years old. You play second in the sports car club of America club racing. The following year, you won the Northwest Region ITS Championship, and you've maintained the, you know, the Porsche Club things, the racing studios, things. Racing to you, what did that mean? Was it the competitive side of it that was the most attractive? Ooh, I think there's a few things that were attractive. You know, I, um, I think part of it, uh, I mean, no question, I'm, I'm a competitive person. I love competition right? Not just participating. I love the spirit of competition. I can pretty much watch anything compete. And if it's a good competition, I'm in. Um, uh, so that was definitely part of it. Uh, a, another big part of it for me, though, is, uh, A, I love driving, but I also, I'm so intrigued and drawn to, uh, to activities that sort of require mastery, Right. And not that mastery is every, ever something I will get to, but I love the pursuit of it. 